know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Oh, hi, friends. I'm Jayla. As I was getting ready for our party, you'll never believe what I just found. A box full of costumes. There are all kinds of fun costumes in this chunk. Let's see what's inside. Oh wow, look at this ring. Isn't it beautiful? Oh wow, look at these fancy shoes. A robe. This costume trunk is so awesome. I can't wait to tell all my friends about it. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Is that really you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I just found this ring, a robe, and these slippers. A ring, slippers, and a robe for you? I know a story with all those things, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. I'm going to a party today, so of course I made some yummy cupcakes. Do you want to see them? Ta-da! <laughs> I call them my lots of love cupcakes, and they remind me of a story. If you're ready for a story, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. One day, a lot of people were listening to Jesus teach. There were all kinds of people listening to Jesus because everyone is invited to be friends with Jesus. While Jesus was teaching, he told a story about a dad who had two sons. One day, the younger son went to his dad and asked him to give him a lot of money because he wanted to leave home. The dad did not want to see his son go, but he gave him the money anyway. Not long after that, the son packed his bags and left to go far, far away. While the son was far away from home, he spent all of his money and he made some bad choices. Now he didn't have enough money for food. He was so hungry. So the son got a job feeding pigs. Can you make a sound like a pig? <laughs> so silly, good job. <laughs> As the son was feeding the pigs, his tummy began to growl. He was so hungry that he thought about eating the pig's food. He was really hungry. So he came up with a plan. He decided to go back home and tell his dad that he was sorry for making bad choices. Then he would ask his dad to give him a job working as one of his helpers so he could have food to eat. He quickly started walking home. While the son was still walking, his dad could see him coming down the road. The dad's heart was so full of love that he began running to his son with his arms wide open. When the dad got to his son, he gave him a big hug and kissed him all over his face. <laughs> that dad was so happy his son was home. The son told his dad that he was sorry for all the bad choices he made. But before the son could ask his dad for a job, the dad said to his helpers, start the party. We're celebrating because my son is home. <laughs> it was going to be a big party, so everyone get out your pretend party horns like this. And on the count of three, play your party horns. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, it's time to celebrate. The dad said, bring your best robe for my son. Put a ring on his finger, put shoes on his feet, cook all of his favorite foods, start the party. <laughs> We're celebrating because my son is home. <laughs> Jesus told this story because he wants us to know that God will always love us no matter what. When we make bad choices, we can always talk to God and God will forgive us. God will never, ever, ever stop loving us. But wait, <laughs> there's more. God loves us so much. God gave us his son, Jesus, to be our friend forever. And that is worth celebrating. So let's start the party and celebrate Jesus. <laughs> did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie, tell me, who can celebrate Jesus? I can celebrate Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can celebrate Jesus? I can celebrate Jesus. That's the truth, friends. So start the party. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. The dad loved the son. And God loves you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow. Jesus told a story so that we would know that God loves us no matter what. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. You know what? These chefs of clothes are really special to me because they remind me of a story in the Bible. I can't wait to wear them for the party. See you next time! <laughs>